so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video we are going to talk about how we can rig a character with the help of the auto rig pro add-on that's very cool add-on so i thought i should share with you guys so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so if you want to download this add-on you can download from the blender market i will put the link into the description from there you can download this add-on and after that you have to just go to your edit preference and then you have to just click on your install button and wherever you have saved your file you can just install from the there make sure that should be zip file uh, only zip file blender will accept so after that you have to just search the auto rig pro and you will see this add-on something like that here you can see all right guys so now let's start the tutorial so after that if you just press the n on your keyboard you will see this add-on here something like that and this will look something like that and before uh, like doing your character rigging start make sure you just separate your whole body parts like uh, what i did here basically i just uh, separate the body mesh something like that then i just uh, separate this upper teeth lower teeth tongue and also eyes as well all right this is necessary because when we are uh, doing rigging so that time it is asking for those uh, uh, like uh, object so we have to like separate before uh, like start the rigging and after that you have to just select all your objects something like that then you have to just press the n on your keyboard and you have to just go to your apr like auto rig pro add-on settings uh, okay tab then you have to just click the auto rig pro smart option and here you will get the one option it's called get started object you have to just click it and after that it will ask you like full body and facial only so first of all we'll do just full body so we'll just hit the okay and here you can see it will like open a new dialog box here you can see and now on my screen you can see it will ask for uh, like adding the pointer into the neck part so i'll just add the pointer here is the neck part then i'll just add the pointer into the chin part then i'll just add the shoulder part something like that then i'll just add the wrist part as well then it will ask for the spine root there we go then it will ask for the ankle as well something like that okay apart from that you don't need to do anything make sure just check how many finger of your um, like how many finger your character have okay you have to just uh, like increase and decrease from here and i don't think so you don't need to change any setting from here and uh, what you have to do basically one thing i think you should do it you have to just place your uh, all the pointers precisely according to the body shapes if it is not then you have to do manually something like that which is i'm doing here okay it is not necessary but if you will do so it will help like your uh, rigging little bit smoother yeah i think it's look nice to me okay now everything is good to go all right okay, after that you don't need hit to the go button because before we have to just click on the add facial and here you can see when just click on the add facial we will get some markers here so we have to just place all the marker according to the their shapes basically like these markers for the eyes these for the ears these for the cheekbone this is for the eyebrow this is for the nose this is for the lips so we have to just place all the markers according to their uh, like placement so right now i'm just gonna move these things a little bit downside right now okay just for temporary because first of all i'll just uh, uh, like place my eyes into their eyes place something like that i think that's look cool by the way okay and you can also scale as well doesn't matter you have to just place all those pointer into the eye edge something like that yeah, that's look awesome by the way yeah all right something like that something like that and you can also like move this a uh, whole pointer placing the double g on your keyboard i think that's look good to go for me okay now i'll just place my eyebrow sections here to here that's look also awesome and make sure you just cover the whole eyebrow yeah that's look awesome also you have to just place it something like that all right now this is a major settings you have to do before hitting the okay so it will ask for your eyeball objects so right now i have only one objects if you have a separate two eyes so you can just select the two one but right now i have only one so i'm just going to select one and i'll just select the eye so this is the eye one then i have a tongue bone sorry i have a tongue object this is the tongue 
then I have a two teeth object so I'll just select the upper like teeth so this is the teeth up this is the teeth lower yeah apart from that everything is looking good to go for me then I'm just gonna hit the ok all right so now here you can see we have set up the body and we have set up the facial as well now we have to just hit the go button and what will happen exactly basically that whole pointer will analyze the whole bodies then they will it will automatically place the all bones according to our body shapes and here we go guys here we can see it will take the time according to your mesh and uh, like how much uh, mesh your object having if you have a high poly mesh so it it can take around one minute otherwise here you can see we have already get the all bones and here you can see it is perfectly placed on their places this is look awesome by the way now what we can do basically first of all we have to just like uh, exit from the edit mode okay something like that now we have to just uh, select this bone and we have to just click the mask to rig and what does uh, what this option does exactly basically it will create the controller for the all bodies part so we don't need to select all the bones manually all the bones will control it with the with their bones like uh, all the uh, bones will controls their uh, controller basically so when i'm just going to hit the mask to rig button so here you can see it will take us little bit time and it will create the controller for the uh, whole body and now here we go, go guys here you can see we have uh, all the controllers for the eyes eyebrows and like foot ankle everything is looking good to go but now here you can see if i'm just going to move my on uh, any controller so it will not work here you can see why because we have to link our controller with our mesh our body then it will work basically so what we have to do for that we have to just select our whole body something like that and then we have to select our controller at the last then we have to just go to our skinning sections and here we will get some option basically so right now we have a binding settings there we have a three types of binding engine like first is a heat map second is a voxelized third is a voxel high heat diffuse skinning add-on so this is the separate add-on which is i have uh, like installed so it is help to like connect our body with their cloths as well and separate object as well so if you facing any kind of like uh, uh, issue so you have to install this add-on and that will help like uh, what we can say help to connect our body with their cloths as well so right now i'm just going to use the heat map only so i will also show you what problem we are getting and how we can resolve as well so make sure you just select the scale fit as well and then you have to just click the bind so it will take a little bit of time like around one to two seconds sometimes it takes around 10 seconds it totally depends on your mesh and everything now here you can see it is done now what i will do basically i'm just going to edit mode of my sorry i will just go to pose mode of my controller now here you can see when i'm just going to move my hand so my mesh is also moving very nicely but what I said you before here you can see right now when I'm just gonna moving their hand that shot is not going properly with their hand and that is the problem is having when we are using the heat map basically but now I'm gonna show you one thing okay but before showing I'm gonna show you other control how they are working by the way here you can see it is working very nicely okay here you can see his mouth is also working very nicely wow it's look awesome by the way okay everything is looking good to go now what i'm gonna do basically first of all i'm just gonna exit from the pose mode then i'm just gonna hide this rig okay selecting the edge yeah then i'll just select my uh whole body something like that then i'm just gonna select my one of the mesh i'll just go to edit mode of my mesh and i'm just gonna pressing the a for selecting the whole body and now what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna select this head part okay something like that and apart from that we don't need to do anything just exit from the edit mode and unhide that uh, controller bones again then i'm just gonna select everything then i'll just gonna select my controller bone something like that and right now i will just change my engine as a heat map to the as a voxel heat diffuse skinning add-on and now here we go guys and here i will just select only selected vertices only now i'm just going to click the bind option and now here we go here you can see you can see the seconds is working by the way and it will take a little bit time sometimes like 
take uh, 30 seconds sometimes take 20 seconds I told you before also it is depending on your body mesh all right so everything is looking good to go now now here you can see when I'm just going to my edit uh, like pose mode into my controller now I will again move his hand now here you can see that shot is also going very nicely there is a no problem with this shot and also his leg is not intersecting their cloths now here we go guys how cool it is by the way so if you guys need a, that add-on you can just comment below i'll just give the add-on free of cost to everyone okay now here you can see guys our mesh is totally rigged here you can see now i'm just gonna switch into my material preview we can move his eyes as well wow here you can see this is his second eye we can move his eyebrow as well and in the second part i will show you how we can like fix these kind of problem which is you are having here basically right now i'm just trying to move his eyebrow but his hair and his forehead is also moving along with them so we don't want to we have to just manually paint all those things so it will like restrict the part that uh, that that part that mesh will not affect uh, with this controller so how we can do that we'll just uh, comp uh, like uh, what we can say talk about in the part second so if you need a part two make sure just comment below down i'll definitely make the part two and in the in the part two we'll talk about the all the basics of the vortex paint and weight paint and i'll show you how you can make your model and your character also like animation ready for animation now here you can see it is look awesome by the way everything is looking good by the way yeah you can see his hand is moving nice if we want to set this guy it is sitting very nicely and we can move his two eyes together as well and we can also move his mouth wow it does look awesome by the way so everything is looking nice and his ear we can also move it okay see here you can see how much uh, how much uh, it is affected uh, with this uh, controller so how we can fix this i'll talk about in the part two so make sure you just hit the like button the share button so and also comment down the below we need about part two we'll definitely make the part two for you so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe button. also if you have any queries for session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you